Welcome to Den of Tools. Howdy ho guys and gals, it's Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear, back again here in the old Den of Tools. And today we're covering the top 10 hand tools over at Harbor Freight. Now, of course, you know, this is updated for 2021 here. And on top of that, you know, we don't give hand tools enough love. You know, all the the glitz and glamour and paparazzi goes to the power tools, but hand tools are what got me to start shopping at Harbor Freight. I'd been a Craftsman fan bear for years, and we all know what Craftsman or what Sears did to the brand. And when I jumped ship and, and said, I'm not shopping at Sears anymore, I went straight to Harbor Freight and I haven't looked back. So let's look at some of the top 10 reasons why you might do the same. Number one is gonna be impact sockets. I gotta tell you, impact sockets, when you're starting out, Half inch impact sockets are where you probably want to start. Well, three eighths maybe is uh, might might be in a, another one also. But it with with you know everyone the conversation goes between chrome and impact sockets. Which should you get first? That kind of stuff. When it comes to half inch, there's no debate. You want to go with the impact socket first because clearance is rarely, if ever, an issue when it comes to half inch drive sockets. And here's the thing: the other thing people say is, well, I don't want I want to either want uh, no skip or low skip sets well guess what harbor freight in the pittsburgh line is doing a virtually no to low skip step or set here 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 we do skip 20 but nobody nobody likes 20 anyway we get a 21 22 and then of course to jump up to 27 if you need something other than that it's probably going to be kind of a specialty thing you can always get pick up a one-off or whatnot but to get started oh my gosh this is the list price at 24 dollars the sale price is going to drop that down even lower. This this is where you want to start when it comes to impact sockets. And there's no reason not to because you know how Harbor Freight's warranty service is. You, they don't care. You bring it in, they're like, they're like, all right, go get another one. Now, Harbor Freight has a lot of really good ratchets, okay? but And this is not definitely a pro-grade kind of thing or anything. But I have to talk about this because this is one of my personal favorites. And that is the Pittsburgh Quarter Inch and three eighths inch dual drive extendable ratchet. Yeah, this thing, <laughs> it's kind of, it's one of those, you know, universal tools. It's not great at any one thing, but it's great at being flexible. It's got a three eighths on one side, a quarter inch on the other. The whole thing, you pull this little ring collar down and it almost doubles in length. This is not a heavy duty ratchet, okay? You know what I use this a lot for? I use it for throwing it in a, in a bag for going and helping fix people's stuff somewhere else. Or I also use it a lot for like with the kids, their bikes. I always talk about this like, you know, bikes, there's a lot of sockets on there that require a quarter inch or a three eighths. Rather than having two ratchets around for my kit for that, I just have this one. This is a great flexible around the house kind of ratchet. Great for a lot of, you know, light duty to medium duty jobs. No, it's not a breaker bar. But speak, you know what is a breaker bar? This thing. We got to talk about this. If you don't have a half inch drive, 25 inch Pittsburgh breaker bar, you are missing out. This thing's been compared against, you know, Snap-on and Matco and Mac, all the big names off the tool trucks, that kind of stuff. And it, it swings right in there with them. And when it's on sale, it's like $15. Come off of it. I, you know, I even got a... Some uh, some flack from the guys over at Harbor Freight, though. The guy behind the Icon one got kind of miffed when I said, don't buy the Icon one, just buy the Pittsburgh one. He's like, well, the he's like, the, the Icon one's heavier duty, and, you know, the Pittsburgh one could break. I'm like, oh, if only it came with a lifetime warranty. <laughs> anyway, next up. All right. Now, this is, I've often talked about these. The Pittsburgh 3 8 and they, they have a quarter inch, they have a 3 8 they have a half inch. This is your standard click type torque wrench. You know, uh, they run 20 bucks list. They go on sale for below $15. At that point, you can pick up all three of them for, you know, under $40. So why not do that? Well, I'll tell you why not. Get one of these. I am done with click style torque wrenches. This thing is great. It's compact right there with the adapter. You got the quarter inch. You have the three eighths. It's half inch native. This little thing. And the thing is, you don't ever have to calibrate these things. All right. They, they're, they just always, it, it's, it's the way that they do it. it. It's a big technical explanation. It's actually really simple the way it works and it just always works. You know, the yeah, other torque wrenches every couple of years you have to go through and you have to calibrate and make sure they're state true. They're pretty good about it. They are, but why take up all that room? Why buy three extra tools? You already got the ratchets, right? So just take your half inch, half inch ratchet, put it on this. And now you've got a torque wrench and, and look, it's nice, it's compact. You can throw it in a case. You don't have to worry about dropping it. This is a one and done solution. All right. Now I often talk about like best bang for the buck and I try to find you budget options for stuff. 
But when it comes to ratcheting wrenches, oh my gosh, I am in love with these things. I know there's lots of different styles out there. There's flex head and there's double box and all that. I've got this set and, and I can tell you, I wouldn't go back to about anything after this. They're nice, they're long. You can put some real power on them. Granted, the open end, it doesn't have the little teeth on it and whatnot, but what I find is, is that I never really have to go beyond using the ratcheting side on it. I, it's never been an issue for me. I love these wrenches. Yes, they're not cheap. Yes, you want to wait for a sale. Don't buy them at $150. Wait for a sale, and that's when you want to pick these up. All right, next up, Pittsburgh SAE and Metric T-Handle Ball End. I wish they had a picture here. They don't, but I love having that ball end uh, on there for the hex end. So you can get in there at kind of an angle, and it's easier to work the tool and stuff. The nice T-handle, nice long you know, grip on it, it lets you get into tight places. This is a set that's going to get you out of a lot of different problems for $18. Now, they do sell two separate sets that have one more piece in them, but you don't get the T-handle part on it. Well, it is a T-handle, but you don't get the extra end piece on it like you do with these where you can get a little bit more leverage in there. And that's why I like this set more than the other one. Next up, we've got the Doyle pliers. Now here I've got the 12 inch fast jump adjust water pump pliers, AKA the, the Nipex uh, <laughs> knockoffs. And you know, they're almost half the price at list, not even including the sale price that they go on to. But I really gotta say the Doyle pliers across the board. Now here's, they're great value. They are, when they're on sale, they are a fantastic value. Now, here's what I'm going to tell you. It, if, you're, if you're looking to buy, you know, an entire set of pliers, you know, you're going to grab a piece here, grab a piece here. Here's what I'm going to say. Save up. And for the pliers, you're, the one, the two or three, let's say call two or three pliers that you're going to use all the time. Buy the high end. Get the Nipex or get the, the Klein or something like that. Go, go for the nice ones on those. But on the ones you use every so often that, you know, you just need to have them when you, when you need to have them, don't spend a fortune on those. Go for the Doyles on these. These are, they're in that sweet zone, what we call the 80-20 rule, which is like 80% of the performance or 20% of the cost. These are a, a best bang for the value kind of pliers. And, and you're going to love them, you know, especially even if they are your main go-to, if you're on a budget, we totally understand that. But as I said, I like that idea of trying to buy, you know, specialize on the high-end stuff for just the tools you use all the time. And for everything else, you can go a lower downgrade on, on those. And speaking of picking up some good quality stuff, have you checked out the Den of Tools live stream? Yeah, a lot, apparently a lot of you don't realize that every Sunday at 5 p.m. Pacific, we do a live stream. Well, I should say I'm not there. I, I don't do live streams. I'm talent. But Jeff and the missus, you can catch them every Sunday talking tools from 5 to 7 Pacific. Uh, you come and hang out. And remember, it's family friendly. So keep keep the chats, you know, appropriate and stuff like that. But they're, they're there to answer your questions every Sunday night. Come and be part of the community. By the way, while you're here, don't forget to hit the old like button. Chomp the subscribe. Ring that bell. Do all that good YouTube kind of dance. Anyway, moving on. Bremen. The Bremen's another one like Doyle. It kind of stepped up and upped Harbor Freight's game. I would never have recommended the original Harbor Freight locking pliers. I've had issues with them. They fall apart. They have these cheesy handles on them. They don't stay. But the Bremen stuff is nice. Now, granted, there is a company, Eagle something, or I can't remember the name of it right now, that, that is starting to make locking pliers here in the U.S. again. I haven't seen the pricing on it. But for $6, this is a great little 5-inch curved locking plier set, a.k.a. the Vice Grips, as we always call them. Anyway... That's a great option there for you. Now this one, talk about another furry backside saver that's going to pull you out of the lurch. This is the Pittsburgh SAE and Metric Tap and Die Set 60 piece. Now when it goes on sale, it's like $30, okay? Here's what I'm going to say. Is this the best tap and die set out there? I don't know, honestly. I don't do a lot of machine work. Yes, at some point I'm probably going to get more into that. I've got the metal lathe and I want to get a... Uh, you know, some more kind of stuff along that lines. But for saving yourself, when you've got a bolt that's the only bolt you have and you've screwed up the threads or you've got to chase, you know, uh, uh, something, this is what I use this for, okay? It's in the bottom drawer of my tool bench and probably three or four times a year something happens and I have to pull this thing out and I have to rescue a project and this pulls my furry backside out of the fire 
this is the thing that's like you don't even think about it until you need it. Then you're like, oh my gosh, thank good I thank goodness I had that because that saved me big time. All right, now F clamps. Now Harbor Freight's got the cheap little quick clamps, and yes, they've come out with the better version with the Bremen quick clamps. But these are the go-to. You should have four or five dozens of these. That's the joke. You can never have too many clamps. Here's the thing with these clamps. Not only are they great, not only do professional woodworkers use these things, but if you take the little rubber pads on them, they're good for light to medium use welding as well. I know, I just used some for that <laughs> at, at four bucks. And when they go on sale, they're even cheaper. You should have, they have six inch, they have 12 inch, they've got even long 24 inch. You should have a slew of these around the shop. There, you can never have, literally you can never have too many clamps and these things are fantastic. Next up, hammers. We gotta talk about some hammers. Now, it's hard to choose which is the best hammer here because they've got so many hammers. Now, the basic hammers, I, I'm, you know what? I kind of go to, I'm, okay, I'm an East Wing fan bear. All right, there, I said it. But for some of the, the other stuff, like for a dead blow hammer, I don't need anything special. I just need it to whack it and make it not bounce. And there you go. Two pound dead blow, dead blow hammer there for $8. Okay, and these are list prices. These aren't sale prices. This thing, this is one of the ones you want to have in your toolbox just in case. Four in one quick change multi head hammer. Why multi head? Well, you got to worry about the kind of surfaces, what you're hitting on it on, non marring, that kind of thing. You got four uh, heads there you can put on it. This is a great multi use kind of tool there. It's $6, but this is the one I really love. Now, this is not a sledgehammer, okay? Yeah, it looks like a sledgehammer. Yeah, it's three pounds, but this the, the form factor is slightly different. This is called a engineer's hammer. Now, they say here it's for forming metal and demo work, and it's for all of that, but it's also what we like to call the uh, the persuader, as in, no, you're going to get into place. That part, you, you don't think you are, but you are. I'm, I'm, it's, I'm not asking, I'm telling. That's what this thing is great about. When you need to adjust some heavy kind of parts and stuff, that's what these things are for. It's kind of a sledge. It's kind of a high-end hammer. So you're not you're not having to try to, you know, do some delicate work with a big old sledge. And you're not trying to do heavy work with, with your good, you know, framing hammer. That's where this thing comes in. It, it will persuade that piece to go where you need it to go. All right. Digital calipers. I... Guys, guys, you got to get now. It's no, it's not a starlet or whatever. It, this is not the super high end. You know, you're not going to be fixing the space shuttle with this. All right. But what you are going to, I mean, do, is there a space shuttle anymore? They don't have the space shuttle. Do they? Anyway, <laughs> they ain't nobody going to be fixing that thing. Point is that for the kind of stuff that we're going to be doing, this thing is fantastic for taking measurements, inside measurements, outside measurements, depth measurements, all of that. You get a nice, easy to read little scale there on it. They have several of these in different sizes, 20 bucks, it's even cheaper when it goes on sale. You should have at least one of these in your shop. All right, I realize we've probably gone over 10 at this point, but you know the bear, I like to throw in some extras and stuff. Flush cut saws, I get asked about the flush cut saws all the time. I'm not an expert on flush cut saws, much less the Japanese style. This is your typical 10 inch full cut saw, flush cut saw. I've got one of these, I think it's fantastic. I like the ergonomic shape of the grip. For $8, I think I paid 6 bucks when it was on sale or something. This thing is great. Have, again, it's one of these things when you have around the shop, you're doing some work, and you're like, you just need to take off that little piece there. That's the piece. That's where you want to get in there. It's good for trim work, baseboard kind of stuff, all sorts of things. All right, speaking of being able to cut stuff, when you need to cut some aluminum, you need to have some good snips here. And these are a great one to have in the drawer there. For ten ninety, for $11, good, solid, all-metal uh, aluminum, you know, AKA tin snips. That's the way to go. All right. And last but not least, this is the one you've been waiting for. This is the number one item that you have to have in your toolbox from Harbor Freight or you're missing out. And of course it is. <laughs> yeah. It's the gold ratchet from Harbor Freight because why not? It's $60 guys and gals. You can order this online from Harbor Freight with shipping for like 70 some dollars. Do not go on eBay. The people are trying to sell these for a hundred bucks on eBay. It's ridiculous. Yes, it is real 24 karat gold. Yes, it is ridiculous. Yes, it is also still awesome for some reason at the same time. I have one. I bought it. They hard afraid didn't send it to me. I might have to grab another one because my son stole it because he's a little I'm gonna shave him like a sheep. Anyway, that boy. 
Oh, my Cubs are a little entitled, aren't they? God, God love them, but, you know, they, they, they need a good wallop and get, smack them with a salmon or something. Anyway, the Bear Kids, the Bear Kids. I'm not going to ruin a good salmon like that. Anyway, you, that's all the Bear has for you. That's our top 10 tools from Harper Freight. If you think we missed out on one, comment down below. I want to hear your thoughts. Again, while you're down there, don't forget to chomp the like button, smash the subscribe, ring the bell, do the whole YouTube dance kind of thing. Anyway, you all take care. God bless. And as always, guide on.